Number 13 then from the 2015 New Hire Paper 1. What have we got here? It's Transformations of Graphs. And Part A simply says on this original graph you've got the point P, 1B. What's the value of B just for one mark? Well, that's the equation there. Or rather, the y coordinate is given by f of x. That's the graph y equals f of x in this case. So that means y is b when x is 1. So 2 to the power 1 plus 3. That's 2 plus 3, so b equals 5. That's a mark. B. 1. Copy the above diagram. Done. On the same diagram, sketch the graph with the equation y equals the inverse function. Well, the inverse simply means take the answers and make the answers into the input. Interchange the axis. So that the input numbers will become the answers and the answers will become the input numbers. It simply flips over. That would be the graph. And of course, that graph is obtained by interchanging the axis, or if you like, reflecting it in the line y equals x. Now, there's only one mark for all of this. I can't call that that anymore. So there's the graph of y equals the inverse function of x. That was the line y equals x. Put it all down just in case, but the whole thing, the whole diagram is just worth the one mark. And of course, that would be the image of q, and that's the image of p. But that wasn't actually asked for, it just wanted the graph. Part 2 though. Write down the coordinates of those images. And it just says write down. Although, you'd have to know what that was in order to write it down, because obviously those numbers are the same. So that means I'll have to work out what point Q is. What happens at point Q? I know that X is 0. And if x is 0, and it's on this original graph here, that means that y is 2 to the power 0 plus 3. 2 to the power 0 is 1. So y equals 4. So q was the point 0, 4. Which means q dashed must be the point interchanging them for 0. And there's two marks. One mark for working out the y coordinate. That intercept was 4. And one mark for simply flipping the x's and y's over to create the inverse. Same happens with p, except we know what p is. p is the point 1, 5, because we already worked that out. So its image will be flip them over, 5, 1. That's a mark. Now, there's a part c. I'll just have to put it down here. R311, so that's further up here somewhere, R311 also lies in this graph, but it's not asking you for its image. Make that into an 11. It says, what would its image be in this new graph? And the graph of y equals 4 minus f of x plus 1 for two marks. Now, here's where it would be better just to interpret that as the instructions for the new points. Remember, f was the y-coordinate of the original graph. And this y is the y-coordinate of the new graph, if you like. That's the new y-coordinate, and that was the old y-coordinate. So it's easy to get the new y-coordinate. You just do 4 minus the old y-coordinate. And this part here tells you that the graph's been shifted one back. So you know that the new x-coordinate will be the old x-coordinate shifted back minus 1. So x will be 3 minus 1, which is 2, because it's been shifted back 1. y will be 4 minus 11, which is negative 7. And there's a mark for each of those. It doesn't actually ask to state it, but I would have said this. So r dashed would be... 2, negative 7.